Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is quite a spontaneous video. I wanted to film this and do it with you guys, in front of you guys. Basically, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm always doing all these personal challenges with myself when it comes to either inner care or outer care. A lot of the times you guys see all the outer care videos. For example, you know, in September, my really hyped up natural wave routine, which I'll also have a video up for you guys already for you to check out, which is my full hair routine. Basically, I'm just trying to, you know, do a lot of self-love work, outer love work. My current challenge this month, which I've actually tried, guys, a million freaking times, but I'm really hoping that this month will stick, but it's basically trying to love myself and my skin, having more of a no makeup makeup look. For the purpose of a lot of filming on either TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I put on a lot of makeup, obviously. On my down days or whatever, or even just vlogging days, I want to be able to wear less makeup basically come up with like a skincare routine that incorporates toning down a lot of the makeup so I've purchased a bunch of different products to help me with this I'm actually gonna be using some of the products for the very first time in front of you I'm hoping because this video like I said was unplanned that I will also do kind of like a part two segment of this video at the end of the month to let you guys know how I have survived this month and how the products have worked for me anyway without further ado let me introduce the products and kind of just like try it in front of you as we go. So basically I've already done the toner, essence, my eye serum, and also a face serum. And now I'm actually gonna go into the actual products that is supposed to help me look a little bit more makeup-y, no makeup type of thing. Well, actually it is gonna be no makeup, but yeah, makeup-y. Maybe we'll add a little bit of makeup. I don't know. We'll see how it goes because like I said, I am doing this for the very first time. All of these products I will review at the end of the month, but this video is more of a first impression and I just want to show you guys visibly how everything looks. The first thing that I'm going to be trying is actually the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty and this is their eye cream that has a little bit of color. So the name is actually the Niacinamide Brightening Cream. This is what it looks like, okay? And then when you open it, you guys can see from the cap and stuff that there's a a little bit of color so I'm just gonna go ahead and use the cap if you guys follow me you know that I actually always use everything pretty conservatively so I'm gonna put this at the bottom and top part of my eye I think you can also use this as a natural highlighter usually for eye cream I actually only put it on the bone here and around but because I'm also trying to use this as a concealer I'm trying to use it a little bit higher I feel like there is a difference actually if you guys notice the dark spots kind of going away and then I'm gonna just use it so now that the eye cream is in place I am now going to use the Wazo Shiseido so basically this is a tinted moisturizer by the way I bought this but Shiseido if you're watching me please sponsor me because your stuff is good but kind of expensive so this is a tinted moisturizer that can also act as a sunscreen so that's really good why this product is raved about is because this product is supposed to kind of like change the color to mold it into the color of your skin so I thought that was really interesting once again doing this for the first time in front of you. This is the Canadian hyped up version because there's also a Dr. Jart product, I believe, that is available only in the States. I will leave a picture here that does the same thing that is also once again, super hyped about. There's that country difference in Canada. They're super strict about all these like skincare things. That product is actually not available in Canada. I think it's just cause it doesn't meet all the requirements. So you can look at it both ways. Maybe it's like not that good for you. That's why it's not available in Canada. I'm not really sure. If you are in America, you can either try this product that I'm using right now or the Dr. Jart one. Okay, and now here we go. We're gonna try this for the first time. This is gonna be my first impression. So I'm gonna just put it onto my fingers here. Oh, okay, so it comes out kind of like white dab a little bit because I don't know. Oh my God, do you guys see that? The minute I put this on, it already, oh my God, changed color. Oh, this is kind of like a foundation. Did you guys see that? Oh, wow. Wait, guys, like these areas around my nose. I like this. 
Also, you guys, if you ever want to look really put together, if you don't want to cover your whole face, the one area, obviously, like the under eye, but then also around the nose, like this area, if you can cover that, you will look terrific, let me tell you. This looks like I have put on foundation. This little... I want you guys to see how it changes color. Whoa! Do not ever forget putting on sunscreen on your eyes because I feel like a lot of people forget and your eyelids age so fast and you can't put like Botox in that area. So make sure you put sunscreen. Whoa! Can we have a before and after? I'm just gonna stand right here. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, this looks like I put on makeup. And this is sunscreen. <gasps> okay. Now, we're going to just go back to this to get some natural highlighter. I'm shook. For the makeup portion, I'm not actually going to put on that much makeup. Also, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen my super failed attempt at self-tanning. And I was using the Isle of Paradise product. I'm just trying to give myself some more color without having to use, you know, like foundation and stuff. I just want to mention, make sure you also provide your neck some sunscreen because this is another common area that has sun exposure. You don't want to have a wrinkly neck, okay? Your face could look perfect but having a wrinkly neck like that's not cute so make sure you also apply and then look the color just like evens out wow i'm so happy right now i mean besides the tan because because i was stupid i feel like this is already pretty good for like a no makeup makeup look but for the sake of putting on a little makeup because you know let's be realistic here i think i'm just gonna do a few like light dabs of stuff. So this is just the milk makeup thingy. So the other super hyped up product that I got due to influences from TikTok and stuff is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. So this is obviously a makeup product, but for the sake of having a first impression video, I think I just want to show you guys too. I actually did already use this a little bit and the idea is that this is supposed to replace your soap, you know, so that your eyebrows stick up. Although I like the concept, I think it's really just my personal eyebrows just doesn't look good having this very sleeked back eyebrow look if you guys can see it's just not really doing it for me or at least i'm just like maybe not suited for that look i'm not sure oh wait actually huh i feel like there's just something wrong with my hair like do i need to trim it or something i don't know but i'm not even adding any sort of color to my eyebrows this is just kind of the natural look and then maybe i will add some mascara because girls gotta have eyelashes another rave product is the sky high mascara by maybelline okay this is after one coat holy wait 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 I actually have eyelashes right now. Oh my god. What? I'm like shook in front of you guys. Oh my god. Why is this so good? Okay, wait. It kind of looks bad close up because I was doing it so far away from the mirror. <laughs> So this is what I look like now. The only makeup that I've worn is the Milk Blush, the Mascara, the Brow Freeze, which I don't really consider this that much makeup because there's absolutely no color. And then now I'm going to put the color for a lip gloss. Actually, I think this is too much color. I could use one that's more clear. Okay, let's do another before and after. I'm going to stand right here. And then this is from right before I showed you guys. But wow, this is a really great no makeup makeup look, which barely has makeup. I think we can go without the brow freeze completely. Like we don't really need that. So really just a little bit of blush, mascara, and here we have it. Wow, I'm actually very impressed with all these products. I feel like it's going to end up in my favorites, but I'm going to use it a little bit more often before it officially makes it onto that video because if you guys follow me for a really long time, you know that I'm pretty strict with that video. So not just anyone can make it on, okay? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick random first impression-ish of me trying some hype beauty products. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!